In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The sideline can be an interesting place of which to stand. Football match in Ireland. Uh, the GA is very local. It's in some ways quite rural. And the comments from the sideline are very instructive. Uh, there's a whole dimension to the game that was never envisaged by the founders or by the people who draw up the rules. And you will frequently hear such helpful um, rejoinders coming from the crowd as bush them, warp them, give them the cogs, rake them. I don't suppose you will ever manage to cure young males of the uh, instinct to engage in fairly serious physical exchange in contact sports. And it's always going to be a challenge to referees to keep it clean. I want to talk about a rather more serious fight. I want to talk just a little bit about what used to be called, nowadays very unfashionably, the spiritual combat. It's the indeed the title of a very famous of Scupoli's very f- famous treatise. Uh, it's a famous classic of uh, of Catholic uh, spirituality. You see, this is something we can go into in a way more detail down the line, and it's and it's worth it. It will it will repay study and repay reinterpretation and re- repay being given a, a fresh coat of paint because it doesn't stop. You can make all the rules you want for Gaelic and rugby and hurling and all the rest of it. You still need a referee with eyes in the back of his head. Our young men will take to walloping each other, which they enjoy doing. We have a combat of streak in us. We're warriors. Well, you are a warrior whether you're a man or a woman. And you're a warrior, you were born a warrior, you were baptised a warrior, a knight templar. You were consecrated for the battle. And you will be fighting to the day you die. I remember reading somewhere that one of the comments that a broken-hearted Duke of Wellington made as they were reading out the list of the dead to him after Waterloo. Many names he knew. And he wept as they called out the list to him. And he said, I hope I'm done with fighting. It's a bad thing to be always fighting. That's our lot. Whom will you be fighting? Your fellow man or woman? Uh, My dear friend, you'd be very lucky indeed if that's all you had to fight. Now that can be pretty formidable. But that's not all you're fighting. And it's not all you have to fight. The enemy may well be behind them. The enemy is already inside you. Evil is a reality in the world. It is a mighty force. And it is not to be messed with, trifled with, ignored, wished away, run from. Do not turn your back on it. And you can't be always backing from it. Even the saints used to say that the certain temptations, you run. Fair enough. But a man or woman who runs in a situation like that is not running from the fight. That is the fight. Tactical retreat is part of warfare. That is the fight. You're retreating so that you can fight somewhere else. So you box clever because you are fighting a formidable enemy. If you ever meet the devil on the road, be polite. Be very gracious. You are dealing with your enemy and God's enemy. And he knows you and knows you right through. Do not underestimate him. Don't be silly. 
Never disrespect the power of darkness in you. We are basically good, contrary to some of the reformers and the Jansenists who believed that we were, you know, totally depraved. We are basically good, but we are powerfully inclined to evil. It runs through us like the seams through marble. You know the seams that run of darkness through white marble? Very attractive when it's polished up. Believe you me, you can polish evil all you want, and the world is good at it. But it'll still be evil. It's nothingness. It's parasitic on the good. It feeds on the good to no purpose with no future. And evil has an active and intelligent principle. The church is consistent throughout our history in talking about it. Now, some people, I've, I've never hidden the fact that I come from somewhere on the, let's say, the conservative wing of the church. And I think it's healthy to talk about these things openly. Lay your cards on the table, talk about this openly. The church is a great long house. It's a vast banqueting hall and everyone's at the table. And that's where I'm coming from. But I'm still your brother. The Holy Father is frequently, the present Holy Father is frequently criticised by people coming from my side of the camp. And fair enough, I can see where they're coming from sometimes. No disrespect, but I can see where they're coming from sometimes. But he has been fearless in pointing this out. Evil is a reality. The devil is a reality in our lives. Evil is an intelligent principle. It is this arid, restless, always active principle. You're in a fight. Patrick Pierce said before the, the rising, because the orange men were arming in the north, he said, I'm you know, this is the gist of it, not his exact words. He said, I'm, I'm tired of hearing our comrades, our friends giving out about the orange men. I don't find the prospect of an orange man with a gun nearly as ridiculous as the prospect of a Catholic patriot, of an Irish patriot, without a gun. I'm not saying you should have a gun. I'm just quoting Patrick Pierce, who founded our state, did he not? Well, there we are. Maybe we don't like to talk about that. You're in a fight. And if you don't like a fight, I don't blame you. Uh, if you're a coward, you're looking at another. Join the gang. But here's the thing. If you run, the fight will just follow you. You really are better to learn to fight. Because it won't go away. Learn to fight, my friend. Learn to fight. Or do the decent thing now and hand your soul over to the devil. How do you do that? I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure that if you just keep saying it, he'll show up. Okay? And take delivery. Okay? Indeed, I suspect there are more than a few in the world at the moment who seem to be in fairly regular contact. If, if you believe in goodness, if you're a good person, even if you're, if you're not a, a believer in Jesus Christ, if you're a good person, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ and even if you're not, if you don't accept the, the, the teaching of the Catholic Church in its entirety, if you're a Catholic and you're, ha even, you're still having trouble with, with questions of orthodoxy or faith or whatever, look, don't allow that to dim the danger you're humanly in like the rest of us. Remember Blake, you remember that, that fantastic poem, Jerusalem? I will not cease from mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand till we have built Jerusalem in England's green and pleasant land. We are in a fight. Learn to fight. Because I can assure you, he knows how to fight. Now you're going to say back to me, who do you think you are? You know, Yoda from Mayo? Obi-Wan Okenobi? Obi-Wan Mekenobi? You just see, what, look at what has happened to the church. Look at the state we're in. Let me tell you why we're in that state. Part of the reason we're in this state, I have no doubt about this. 
part of the reason we're in that state is we forgot we were in a fight. We forgot how to fight. Or knowing how to fight, we didn't have the guts to fight. And not having the guts to fight, we didn't have the humility to say, I don't know how to fight and I don't have the guts to fight. Because even having the humility to say that and recognise it means you're still in the fight. Learn to pray, my friend. Do adoration. Fast occasionally. Take holy water. No, no, use holy water. Sorry, you, 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 you think it feels like some sort of uh, weird Catholic voodoo. Now, don't start that. We'll do another video on that down the line. These sacramentals are important. We're physical beings. Kneel. Pray. Say the rosary. Why? It's boring and it's repetitive. That's why Dumbo. Because it says everything you need to say in a few verses and you just keep saying it. In other words, left, right, left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook. Give him the cogs. No, don't. It's not gentleman who did that. Don't do that. Our Father, Hail Mary, Holy Mary, Glory be. Again and again and again. That's how you win. That's how you win. Say the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Say the Jesus Prayer that the Orthodox have given us. A beautiful prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And say it again and again and again and again. Bang! 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 Learn to fight. Or have sand kicked in your face and get beaten up by every little playground bully demon who's walking the road. It's your call. This is a battle. And the battle will go to the brave and to the bold and to the strong. We have God on our side. But God cannot supply for what you can do in his service. He has chosen to work through you. So of his own choice, he cannot supply for that because he has chosen otherwise. He wishes to work through you. Now, will you put your fists up and stand up to him? Stand up to him, strong in faith, as he's prowling around the sheepfold. Warp him. Bushed him. Let him have it. Let's make this a fight. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. <laughs>